You're very welcome back. Now, Cool Mind Therapeutic Community is one of the country's most successful drug and alcohol rehabilitation centres and is now the focus of a brand new three-part documentary airing on TV3 tomorrow night. The rehab followed the staff and residents of Cool Mind for a year, getting an unprecedented insight into how the community helps people face a life free from addiction. With us are former residents Tobias Gunning and Cool Mind Chief Executive Pauline McKeown. First, let's take a look at what we can expect. When you come into recovery and when you've sobered up, you develop a conscience, a conscience that you haven't had for two decades. I'm a scumbag, I'll always be a scumbag. So people have told me I'm a scumbag. This is Cool Mind Therapeutic Community in Dublin. Men and women who've already detoxed from drug and alcohol dependencies come here to learn how to leave their addictions behind. I'm actually feeling things now. We've been sober. We can get clean as easy, but it's staying clean. I really want this, like, this, I mean, recovery is for life. Sure, I'm still dealing with the, the carnage and the wreckage of, of my past. You remember your, your drug use like it was yesterday and the feelings that come with it. Pauline, we get a kind of an overview as to what happens in Cool Mind. Give us a little bit more detail in terms of the community, what it offers, who's, who it's for and, and how the place works. Yeah. Well, Cool <clears throat> Mind is a national drug and alcohol treatment centre. Um, we're the longest established treatment centre in Ireland and we provide a therapeutic community approach to treating addiction. Um, we provide very specialist rehab communities a range of day services and uh, the only mother and child residential treatment centre in Ireland. So that basically caters for a lady who may be pregnant, a homeless pregnant lady, or indeed a homeless lady with young children to come in and access treatment. Um, and the other then in terms of Cool Mine Lodge, our men's residential rehab, a significant feature there is that it's the only rehab centre in Ireland working with a significant proportion of people who have criminal justice issues. So it may well be people are coming direct from prison um, to treatment centre. And I guess our, our, our philosophy is that recovery is possible and our very much that is based on the therapeutic community uh, principles of addiction. So is, it, is, it, is your, your theory recovered together? Yes, it would be. And I guess what it is, is community as method. So clients from very disadvantaged backgrounds, clients from homeless situations, come in, access treatment in Cool Mine, and they join a new community. The first and foremost piece is that it is safe and it is non-judgmental. Yeah. Mm. Because drug users in our society unfortunately face a significant amount of stigma yeah. as a result of... You could hear it in the clip there. Yes, oh, exactly. Terribly um, emotive um, yeah. and that, and just the language um, that is associated with drug use and homelessness is, 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 is terrible, really. And it's something that the documentary will challenge a little um, mm -hmm. in that regard. People come into the therapeutic community. It's very much about people taking responsibility for themselves, but through a peer network and a self-help support group, they work in the community. Mm -hmm. The clients run the community, the therapeutic yeah, mm -hmm. community. So there's a kitchen department, there's a <clears throat> maintenance department, there's um, you, you know laundry administration. So it's very much about basic everyday living and skills, and that in the culmination of working with a peer group of people, behaviour change mm. becomes possible. Because ultimately, in terms of drug use, we've got to support people to change their behaviour mm. in order that they can maintain a life. Mm. Tobias, let us bring you in here because you are the perfect example of someone who has benefited from exactly what Pauline is explaining, mm. the whole community and therapeutic process that goes on there. You had access to, to alcohol and to drugs from the age of 13? 13, yeah, 13 years of age. Tell us, yeah. tell us your story and, and... Well, I mean, you know, it's a kind of, it's a stereotypical kind of example of, you know, growing up in Irish society where the cultural norm is, you know, to go out and get smashed on a Friday night. Mm -hmm. um, you know, add to that that I couldn't, I wasn't very good at managing how I felt because I didn't really feel very good uh, growing up in this kind of oppressive society where, you know, you're kind of, you're, you're taught growing up that it's okay to 
takes something to change how you feel. Mm -hmm. You know, you're not encouraged to kind of speak about your, how you're feeling or mm -hmm. where your head's at, you know. And you weren't particularly happy in school, which again doesn't help, I suppose. <clears throat> Well, yeah, you know, uh, back in school in the 1970s, it was kind of a, it was a different kind of format of teaching, you know, and and you know, Irish society is very quick to label to label kids and to label stuff that they don't wouldn't maybe fully comprehensively understand, you know. So there, as Pauline kind of quite rightly said, there's an awful lot of stigma in Irish society, especially when you deviate from the norm, you know. Mm -hmm. And tell us about your experience then with Cool Mine. Mm. Tell us about the place. Right. Well, you know. I kind of started by taking a little bit of personal, res well, a lot of personal responsibility for <clears throat> my own behaviour and, and my life and the consequences of my previous actions growing up. And Kulmine uh, very supportively facilitated that process. Because you were very quick to say, just before we go into Kulmine, you were having fun and it's all fun to start. But it's yeah. not fun once you get addicted to something and your life starts to change for well, the worse. Well, that's a really good point, Anna, and I'm glad you kind of brought that up because Basically, you know, we're dealing with with something here that's a, a kind of a progressive, and, and I don't want to kind of call it a disease, you know, but it's a progressive kind of thing that, you know, starts off, you know, it starts off with maybe going out on a Friday night, getting smashed and smoking a couple of joints, mm -hmm. to, to somebody like me, three and a half decades later, uh, finishes residential treatment or, you know, a lot of therapy, and it's kind of like, what, what just happened to the last 35 years of my life? It's a spiral, and I, and I'm is a very, I'm, a very, I'm one of the very lucky ones, yeah. Simon, you know? Yeah. Like, I, I, I'm kind of sitting here able to tell the tale. Mm. Yeah. There's an awful lot of people who don't get that opportunity, mm. and, and, you know, because of the stigma attached, you know, would be slow on the, on the uptake to kind of access supports that, that is out there, you know? And was it your decision, Tobias, to go into Cool Mine? Because you strike yeah. me as someone who wanted to fix the problem. Well, you know, I kind of it got to the stage where where my life was just so unmanageable, and and you know, I I, I functioned I functioned like a lot of people out there, you know, li living that kind of pub life or that nightclub culture and and all the kind of the parties and, and drugs and, and alcohol that came with it. But you know, like I I always kind of questioned myself. I always kind of had this kind of niggly feeling in the background that there was something more to life that you know I just couldn't find the opportunity till I walked through the doors of Cool Mine, you know, mm -hmm. and 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 as I say, they were able to facilitate my, my recovery, you know. What fascinates me about the community side of it in Cool Mine is that as well as dealing with the stigma, which we referred to earlier, we saw in the clip, mm. is, is the, the basic thing is, is are, 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 to get clean first and then deal with everything or are they coming in at various stages of they've already kicked the habit, now it's dealing with, you know, re, reintegrating yourself into society. Yeah. yeah. Um, people come into Cool Mine and we do provide detox placements. Yeah. So there is methadone detox placements. Um, but the principle is that people are coming in to deal with issues from their past, mm -hmm. to deal with the behaviour that has led to their drug use and their life spiralling out of control. Our client group um, would have experienced quite a bit of trauma, abuse at a young age perhaps. Um, there would be physical health issues and there would be mental health issues, mm. a lot of low self-esteem. Mm. There would be family and relationship issues too as a result of the drug use, the individual, but also the, just the family impact of that yeah. and indeed on children as well. And that's what the documentary shows us. Mm. So it is very emotive um, and it does show the experience of fathers and mothers who are in addiction. Um, and the impact that that may have had. And it's in depth in terms of, because it was, it was shot over the, a 12 month period. So we're going to, as from an audience point of view, we're going to get involved with people's stories because we will see their journey. Very much yeah. so. There's six core characters mm. of whom we are deeply, deeply grateful to. Mm. Yeah. Um, that they consented and that they Absolutely. have had the bravery. Because it's important to tell that people story. see this. See it, it raises this. awareness around of course it. It, it really yeah. raises awareness yeah. that, you know, there is a kind of, there is a, a somewhat a solution out there, you there's know, that it is possible. There. Yeah, the there support. Is. And you are support. now three years clean. Good man. Yeah, correct? last last September. Good man. You know, huge achievement. Absolutely. Um, I'm, Congratulations I'm, I'm to you. I'm over in UCD doing a degree in sociology, you know, and, and kind of like building that life, you know. Yeah. You're driven and you're clean and life is good. Yeah, life is relatively good. It's never all rosy in the garden. No, you know, but yeah, yeah. It's yeah. better. It's well better. Well, and yeah, continued success you. with the community. So tomorrow night, work. TV3, yeah, nine o'clock. This is powerful viewing. Very mm -hmm. much so. Yeah. Thank you very much. And just maybe Thanks. to mention Martina Durack, 
the uh, producer, producer from Phoenix, Phoenix Films, Films too. Yeah, they've yeah. done a, a fantastic job. It takes job. a special effort, doesn't it, to make something over a year to follow yeah. journeys like that. So well yeah. done. Thanks for coming um, Stay guys. with us. Thanks. More Sunday AM coming up next. <laughs>